Hey guys, Merry Christmas Eve. I am heading off into town today to meet the girls for early lunch at 12 o'clock, so I need to head off, but I thought I'd just show you my outfit before I went. I'm wearing Patrick's hat, that's why she's late, uh, lipstick and liner with Estee Lauder Alabaster Double Wear, Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow Highlight and Bronzer, um, a Colourpop blush that was from the Disney collection that's not available anymore, Chanel Kinder It Experience um, eyeshadows, and the hourglass mascara that I really like. So that's on my face and this is my outfit. I have realised, so these boots were in that box that was in the wardrobe that I said, I said I'd forgotten about them, but I actually thought I'd gotten rid of these boots and I've remembered why, because they are completely done, like the zip's coming away at the side, that's come off, this one's coming off from the sole, but I love these boots so I've decided to give them one last outing for Christmas Eve. Then I've got my Tory Burch coat, my friend Kim always says this is my Beauty and the Beast coat because the, the TB on it kind of reminds her of the the sort of styling of the film with the Baroque period and whatever. Uh, you know, as Cogsworth says, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. Uh, Mulberry Lily, a little tartan skirt and navy jumper and basically this entire outfit was planned around this scarf, which you now kind of can't see, I should have shown you it earlier. Um, which I got last year from Aspinall. It's a Christmassy one. Not that you can really see when it's all thingied up, but there are some robins on it. And it's got this writing on it that says something about Christmas trees. So I have been waiting all year to wear it and decided to plan my outfit around it today. This is what I'm wearing. And yeah, it's time to go for the train. I am just home from my early lunch. Um, it's pitch black outside, but it's not actually that late. It's not even five o'clock yet. But I thought I would show you the scarf. So this is it when it's when it's all out. So this is the only thing about these scarves. Like I absolutely love them. I do find it a little bit difficult to make sure that I don't look like I'm trying to sort of cosplay Claire Foy in the the first two seasons of The Crown. Not 100% the vibe. It's a fine line with the silk scarves. I think in terms of styling them, but I do think they're beautiful, but that is one of the things about them is you've, you've got these gorgeous scenes on them and then as soon as they're sort of wrapped around your neck you're kind of losing a lot of the detail. So it says down here, it does your Christmas tree have roots, replant it and give it a long and happy life in the woods. So you've got the robins in the corners, which are beautiful, and then you've got this little scene with the fox and the bunnies and the deer and the snowy tree and then the owl and the little birds in the tree. So that is my scarf. So I do absolutely love it like worn on the head like a sort of Elizabeth Taylor, Vivian Lee kind of moment but that can verge on to it a little bit costumey so yeah I just wore it today as a round the neck scarf with my scarf ring. So this is also from Aspinall. It did keep it on it's just a little bit neater than tying it in a knot. So yeah that is a scarf. Anyway it was raining so my hair has just done its own thing. But yeah, it's Christmas Eve and Christmas Eve is Saturday this year. So I said in the run up to Christmas, I wanted to put a video up every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. And I have managed that other than today. Um, I actually, I went to the pub after work with some guys from work yesterday and I was only going for one drink. One drink, N never happens. And I should know that by now. Um, so I didn't get home till quite late last night. So I had plans to film I was going to go for one drink and then be home yesterday afternoon because we had a half day for the last day before Christmas and um, but it didn't work out so I'm not going to be defeated I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded but obviously there's not really been much substance to this video yet so I thought surprise surprise I've not opened the rest of my advent calendar since what we opened a few videos ago and um, now I will say I was saying in that video that I was regretting the advent calendar a little bit and I'd been kind of putting it off I'd been putting off opening it so that I didn't have to be overwhelmed by having to add stuff in. Now I think it's it's quite interesting actually because I kind of did the same thing with this even though that's my chocolate advent calendar I'm pointing at by the way even though that doesn't really impact on my inventory and I think it's quite interesting when I actually look at my shopping patterns like stopping shopping altogether like doing a no buy can cope with that like I'm not saying it's easy like it 
I am tested at points, I 100% am, but I find like not doing it is fine. Like it's hard, but I can cope with that. Or doing it, I can do. But then I, I find it difficult to stop. I want to run on and on and on and keep shopping and have a lot of stuff. Or I want to have nothing. Like I find moderating my behaviour very, very difficult. And I think that's really interesting that I've also kind of done the same with these advent calendars where this almost should have been like one small treat a day more for this one than that one because there's some pretty big treats in that one, the beauty one. But obviously the concept of an advent calendar is like one small treat a day and I've been like mm, no because once I get the taste for it I want another one so I'd rather have a whole load in one go and almost like sicken myself and then be like okay I want to stop now I've had enough. Whereas I feel like if I just have a little bit, I could just keep going, keep going, keep going and not stop after, you know, like, like if we're talking about chocolate, the lint chocolate, so that's a lint advent calendar. I really like it because I feel like it gets me the taste for chocolate, but like I can eat a whole bag of lint in one go because it's so sweet. But I would still want to eat until I didn't want to eat anymore. Does that make any sense? One would just get me the taste and I'd want another one. But I'd maybe want like three or four before I'd be like, oh, that's enough now. And I think that's really similar to my approach to shopping and to buying things is that one just gets me the taste for wanting more. But if I kind of do a lot, I'll kind of go, oh, I'm a bit like, oh, I've had a lot now and I need to stop. And I'll just stop and go on to my no-buy. But doing it like one every day, I wouldn't hit that same stopping point quite as quickly. If I had five lint sweets in one go, I'd be like, oh, that's me, I feel a bit ill now, like, need to stop. But I could have one a day for 24 days with no problem at all. So anyway, I, I hope there's been an obvious point. I feel like I know that I'm trying to say something here, but I'm not sure I'm articulating it very well. Christmas brain has, like, absolutely kicked in. So, sorry, I hope that kind of made sense in relation to consumerism. And my, my personal consumerism, yeah. I hope that made sense to you guys, what I was trying to I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't think I'm saying it. Fingers crossed you guys get it. But anyway, I haven't opened any more of the advent calendar. Oh, I was going to start to say, I think I got sidetracked there. As much as I was saying in the last time that I opened this advent calendar, I had been kind of regretting it. I feel a bit better about it now because this is my current sort of skincare routine. And this summer Fridays, this... A hyaluronic serum and this moisturiser all came out of the advent calendar so they've already all instantly been put into play because I'd finished whatever I was using prior to that and hadn't had a replacement yet so that has made me feel a little bit better about it is that I've not just opened it and instantly put it into storage like a lot of that stuff has already started to see use I do feel a bit better about it but also the only reason I can say that and feel better about it is because I have been working for years now as in like I went my first beauty no buy in 2018 so it has been like four years 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, five years can't count there five years of you know monitoring my spending and stopping it and getting it under control so if I'd had this advent calendar even like last year or the year before I might not have already been using that much stuff straight away so it's still worth reflecting on it and still worth acknowledging that I had those feelings but just with a little bit of balance, that's how I'm feeling now. But anyway, let's open the rest of it. Okay, so let's try and do this quickly because this lighting situation is just not flattering. But yeah, let's get into the remaining advent calendar. Now I do actually have a day 25, so I have a day to do tomorrow that I will do, I think we left off at day 12. Did we, yeah. Yeah, I don't see a 12, so I think he left off at 12. So I've got days 13 to 24 to do, to bring us up to date before I get into that. So I have my Dublin haul to film for you. That's what I was going to film yesterday, so that it would have been like packed with me for Dublin, Dublin vlog, Dublin haul all in one week. But you'll get it between Christmas and New Year. But how cute is this bag? So this is not relevant to my advent calendar, but... It is a very Christmassy bag from Bookshop in Dublin, Debray Books. And yeah, I just very much enjoy the scene. So since it was sitting next to me, I thought I would just show you it in this video. But anyway, day 13 of my advent calendar. Oh, it says, when the clock strikes mascara, 
on the side. So obviously it's a mascara. No prizes for guessing that one. Oh, it's from Rare Beauty. I've still not tried anything from Rare Beauty because I've been on my no buy, obviously, and it's still a reasonably new brand. So it's the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. Day 14. Take it off, take it all off. And all is in, all is in italics. So they really mean take it all off. So I presume it's some kind of a makeup remover. Oh, it's the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I do like this cleanser, but it's definitely a second cleanse. It's not a makeup removing cleanser at all. Guys, it is a day 12. We must have done days one to 11. So I just skipped by it and it's a great big one. Um, so day 12 says, let's create a better space, one body wash at a time. It's gonna be a body wash, isn't it? It's quite heavy one day 12. Right, so sorry, just skipped straight by that there. Oh, it's a pump dispenser. I do like a pump dispenser. Pleasing when you get a pump dispenser. And it's the Space NK's own brand. It's their Voyage body wash. That was day 12. 15 is Made You Look, Made You Stare here. Oh, it's another one with two products in it. So we had that quite a lot the last time, didn't we? So yeah. It does feel quite generous. So I have got a 60ml, so that's like bigger than a deluxe sample size, but like like a sort of travel size of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo. So I've had this before and quite enjoyed it, so I'll keep that one. And then the second product is from JVN, so the Jonathan Van Ness range, the Complete Air Dry Cream. So I've only used, I think so far, the mask from the JVN range. Really, really liked it. it. Smelled beautiful. And my friend Lauren's got the serum. What she was saying, and I think I'd be the same, it's in a jar. And we're both just far more likely to use something that you can spray into your hair and just, you know, brush through or whatever. Yeah, creams and serums and things in jars don't tend to use as much. Anything that I have to kind of get my hands a mess with for doing my hair, I tend to not use quite as much. But I did really, really like the mask that I had from this range, so I am interested in trying more of it. Okay, so day 16 says, buy festive face. So again, that sounds like some kind of a like remover or a cleanser maybe. So it's from The Ordinary, it's their niacinamide and zinc. Um, so it's festive face as in eating lots of rubbish and getting spots, which I have one right here. So uh, appropriate actually for that. I have done nothing but eat for like the past two weeks solid pretty much. I have had at least one meal out every single day and some days it's been multiple meals out. And you know that me like, I can just feel it, like I feel so bloated, so sluggish, and I've got spots. This is actually pretty welcome right now. Day 17 is switch off your notifications and look after number one. Hmm, wondering if that's maybe like a bath thing or something, like me time, something like that. Oh, it's another double, and it's my favorite product from one of my favorite brands, it's the Sizzly Black Rose Face Mask. I really like most of what I've tried from Sizzly, but this is, in terms of how expensive it is, in terms of spending my own money, this is the one product that I would say is absolutely worth the money for me. And then also, because it's a doubler, I've got the Sizzly Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream, which is the moisturizer, which I do like. I've had this before. I think I got one of these like near the start of my Vlogmas in my Harrods uh, gift bag. I'd chosen this and I've used it up. And I did enjoy it. I don't think I would pay for this out of my own money, but I'm always quite glad to get Sizzly products. Um, but I do absolutely love the Black Rose mask, so very pleased to get that. Oh, day 18 is very light, and it says, taking you from desk to dance floor faster than you can order an Uber. Well, that wouldn't be very hard because there's not a lot of Ubers to be had right now. There's not a lot of taxis in general, like, it's getting a bit stressful. This is the Laura Mercy Caviar Stick in the shade Au Naturel. Now, I have a mini of that, so I'm gonna pass that one on. In fact, you know what? I know who I'm going to pass that Laura Mercy on to, and I'm also gonna give that person, as much as I've not tried anything from Rare Beauty yet, um, I'm gonna give that person this mascara as well as a little duo. I think that'll be quite nice together. Number 19 says, moisturize but make it cheeky. Cheeky? Mm, oh, it probably the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Yes, that's exactly what it is. There we go. Um, just when it said moisturise, I started, I was thinking about a moisturiser, like a face moisturiser, but yeah. Uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Uh, I do enjoy this. I've finished up 
quite a few of them so I'm sure I'll have no issue using that up. Number 20, oh, it says skincare like a boss. Let's see how a boss skincares. Wouldn't know personally. <laughs> Okie dokie, so this is the, oh I think there's more than one in here. I have to say as an advent calendar, you know I did, I, I completely forgotten what the contents of this were in terms of having looked through the list and I know that I definitely said this was the best of the ones that I've looked at but I, I didn't count them all so this like having double products in a day is quite a surprise I have to say and quite a welcome surprise it, it definitely makes you feel like you're getting like even more than one thing a day which is all an advent calendar promises you some days you get a little double and that's quite nice if you open them day by day like you're supposed to not like me but yeah so in the skincare like a boss I absolutely love these. So these are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Wipes. It's like a little sashi and you get step one and step two. And I've got three of them in there, so that's really exciting. I think these are really good. They're very expensive, but they are very, very good. Lauren actually spent her Liberty credit on them quite recently. So yeah, I feel like they're the sort of thing I could probably be talked into spending my Liberty credit on at some point. Really, really like these. So that was in there. And then I've also got the Sunday Riley CEO Moisturiser, so I'm sure I will finish that up, no problem at all. Day 21 is Make Chapped Dry Lips a Thing of Christmas Past, and it is the Melon and Gats Lip Balm. So I've actually just finished one of these like the other day and put it into my empties, so full circle, got one back. Day 22, only three more sleeps, better make them count. Well, one more sleep for me you know. I definitely feel Christmas just snuck up this year like I think see because Christmas is a Sunday I feel like it like last weekend didn't feel like the last weekend before Christmas but like today didn't feel like a Saturday because there wasn't I do you know what I mean like last weekend felt too early to be the last weekend before Christmas but today like Christmas Eve being a Saturday means it doesn't feel like the Saturday before Christmas it feels like Christmas Eve does that make sense yeah I feel like it's definitely definitely snuck up this year but anyway oh oh so to make my sleeps count I've got the Medicaid Crystal Retinol 3 I think I've got a little mini of this actually to try out so I'm going to try the mini first before I break into this full size one just in case it's a little bit strong for my slightly sensitive skin um, but I've liked everything I've, I've not tried that much from Medicaid but I've liked everything I've tried so far so I, I'm looking forward to trying this and again it's this pump dispenser and I do really like that so yeah pleased with that one. Day 23 rosy cheeks all around so gonna be a blush of some sort I imagine. Oh it is a blush I like blush and it's from Rose Ink and I've been quite keen to try a few of the rose ink products like the the sort I don't really know why because it's kind of clean beauty brand and I really don't have a lot of time for that to be totally honest and um, apart from anything else I've just got such a big collection like things that are going to go off quickly that are made without preservatives and whatever like I get the appeal I get why people that like that kind of stuff like it but it's just I've got too much stuff to be buying things that I know are going to go off within a year and I know like all makeup is going off of course it is it's all makeup is a perishable product but when you've got kind of normal traditional formulas although it might say 12 months you've probably got more than 12 months on it you'll know yourself if something's gone bad like it does go bad it does go off but I feel like when you've got these clean beauty brands that are made with like minimal preservatives and stuff that's going to happen so much more quickly which when you've got a collection the size of mine is maybe not what you want to have. It's not a brand that I've really been able to justify the idea of spending money on even when I've been on holiday or been in a, you know, in a situation where I've been allowed to shop outside of my no buy or whatever. Um, but for whatever reason, although it's kind of one of those brands that something about this brand kind of appeals. Um, so yeah, it's this blush here in the shade Heliotrope. It's a lip and cheek colour actually it says, but I'm sure I'll just use it as a blush. I feel like I probably shouldn't keep this because I know it's going to go off but I do want it. I definitely want it. I want to swatch it for you but I don't want to swatch it. Do you know what? I'm being ridiculous. I'm going to donate this. Don't need to swatch it. I don't need to touch it. 
I have so much blush there is absolutely no point in me keeping any more that can go to beauty bank so yeah I'm just gonna pass that on and just not entertain it any longer oh I'm excited for this one number 24 so Christmas Eve it says twas the night before Christmas when all through the house a candle was burning the senses aroused I know what this is so it's just a little mini but it's the Jo Loves snowflake candle oh that is lovely now I have had Jo Loves log fires burning quite a few days this December and I bought quite a few candles like I don't buy candles very often but I really like sort of wintry scents so I tend to get a couple at this time of year and then I don't really tend to buy spring summer scents. Of the candles that I got this year the Jo Loves log fires has been far and away my favourite and the best burning candle of all the ones that I got this year so I'm excited to try another one even though it's only a little one. It smells quite strong in the in the votive so you know hopefully it'll have good throw. So I've got one more to open tomorrow. Day 25. Now there's no clues on what this is. It just says it's Christmas on the side. Um, so I will be filming tomorrow. I'll be filming my finale for my 12 Pans of Christmas project pans. Do check that out tomorrow and I will open this as a little bonus at the end of that video. I don't know what it's going to have from the fact it says it's Christmas on the side but if you guys remember I was saying one of the reasons I was really excited about this advent calendar was because it had the Augustus Bader eye cream in it which I am very excited to try and I've not had that yet so I am presuming that that is in here but I feel like there's maybe more than one thing in because it's like Christmas day. So yeah I will open this tomorrow with you as a little bonus to the end of my 12 pans of Christmas project pan finale video. But that is going to be everything for this video so thank you very much for watching it. Hope you've had a lovely Christmas Eve and if you don't celebrate it I hope you've just had a lovely day to yourself. So as I said I am planning to film, edit and upload tomorrow for my finale of my 12 pans of Christmas project pan so do make sure to check back tomorrow and I will see you in that video. Bye.